Isaac from Wargamers 40k here, um, doing another video uh, on the Warriors of Chaos army book that came out yesterday. Uh, I bought it and uh, I've looked through it and I'm just going to show you a sneak peek of it and give you some of my thoughts and some of the new units and stuff. So yeah, here it is, a nice hardcover color, uh, pretty cool cover with the Chaos Lord on it. Well, let's get into it here. Uh, you know, there's the intro. And you know the biggest thing about these color books is this nice, nice artwork here. You know some skull crushers burning down a city, and uh, yeah, you know just the backstory, all this nice art, more backstory. Not really gonna go in the backstory. Four chaos gods. Um, there's a map of the chaos wastes where the warriors of chaos live, pretty much in the North Pole. <coughs> Um, uh, timeline, another more backstory than Archon's whole story, it's massive, gigantic, and you know, all these really cool pictures, big sweeping panoramic pictures, pretty, pretty cool stuff, um, and then we get into the rules, um, some changes here, um, if you played the old Warriors of Chaos, you would know that there was a special rule called Will of Chaos that all the units had, which meant you could re-roll all, um, like, fear, panic, and, uh, terror, you know, all that stuff. Um, not fear, that's 40k, I think. Panic and terror. Um, because, you know, chaos, they're chaos, they're not as afraid of anything, really. But that's out now. But, um, it's not too much of a problem, I guess, because most of the units are leadership 8 or 9. So, um, yeah. So, Eye of the Gods uh, is the same. Like, your characters gotta challenge uh, other characters if they can. And, um, here's the Eye of the Gods table you roll on. Biggest changes, you know, they got the regular stuff, like... You know, uh, ward save, plus one strength, you know, all that stuff. But uh, the biggest things they changed was um, this this one, Damned by Chaos, uh, where you turn into a spawn. And uh, the other one that they did was Demon Dark Apotheosis, where you turn into a Demon Prince if you're old double six, which is pretty cool, I guess. Because you get to retain all your equipment. Then we got all the units, uh, Chaos Lords, Exalted Heroes, Sorcerers, you know, more artwork, cool artwork, the mounts, everything. Some new units to go over, there's a lot of stuff that's the same. Uh, we got the Hell Striders, they're new. Um, what else here, Knights, Jugger, Skull Crushers, uh, basically Knights riding Juggernauts, it's really scary, and um, they're supposedly really, really good, um, and they can pretty much beat all monstrous cavalry in the game, um, so, yeah, uh, another, oh yeah, another cool unit is the Gore Beast Chariot, this thing is amazing, it's, it has five wounds, it's toughness six, and um, it's impact hits, because the chariot has impact hits. It's the D6 impact hits, but they have killing blow. So um, it's just, it's, it's amazing. Uh, and also regular chariots, horse-drawn chariots, are core units now. So that's pretty cool. You can bring like, an entire army of chariots, I guess, if you wanted to. Another cool, one of the new monsters for the Chaos Book is a Chimera. Um, I used this thing in a game yesterday. It did pretty well. Um, it has 4 plus scaly skin, which is pretty good for a monster. It can fly, and you can give it a whole, all these up. You can give um, all these upgrades to it. I would definitely give it the regeneration. Uh, the regeneration worked pretty well for me, and then this monster did really good. And I'll compare it to I'll compare it to the uh, the uh, slaughter brute, as things called. Yeah, the slaughter brute. Um, and I think, I don't know, they're just not even to me, and I'll explain that later. Um, the Forsaken, uh, these are new core choice for Chaos. Um, they're basically like uh, Chaos Warriors who have gone off the deep end pretty much, and now they're basically demons. And um, uh, you get to, re you get, when you get into combat, you get to roll this uh, 
mutation that they get, and it's pretty good. Basically, they're less armored chaos warriors, but they move really fast. They have six movement, and uh, they also have less weapon skill, too. Um, but they have a lot of attacks, I would assume, because uh, they get D3 attacks. So that could be good, and it could be bad. You could do better than a regular Chaos Warrior. You could do worse. <clears throat> so, I don't know. They're a bit iffy because they cost a lot of money. They cost 50 US dollars for only 10 of them. It's ridiculous. Uh, Spawn, Warhounds, through there. Um, ogres, Trolls, Dragon Ogres. Dragon Ogres got the new models. Um, you know, pretty cool. $60 for three. Uh, you know, I can kind of see why they're that expensive, because they're pretty big models. They're pretty good. I want to get some of them myself. Um, yeah, Dragon Overs, all the monsters. Uh, Hell Cannon, nothing much changed there. It's five more points, I think. The War Shrine, the Chaos War Shrine, got a really bad uh, hit with the nerf stick. Um, it can now only... Uh, it can only give a blessing to or giver of glory, or whatever you call it, to three D three models within twelve inches. Instead of like the last book, you could the whole unit could roll on the eye of the guy's table. Now one guy in the unit can. Which I don't even know how that works. It's just like it's ridiculous. I don't know. I don't like it. I think they completely just made this thing worse. It's not toughness six anymore, it's toughness five. Um you know, I, I don't think I'll be using it, to be honest, anymore. Um, giant, nothing new there. Uh, and then we got these things. The Mutilith, Vortex Beast, and Slaughter Brute. And um, this thing is basically a spellcaster. Like, it, uh, it has a bound. It has this uh, bound spell that's direct damage. Uh, and you roll, and you roll on this table to see what it does, and, um, I don't, I don't know, I, I'm not, I don't like this thing very much, to be completely honest, uh, <clears throat> as regeneration, four up is probably pretty hard to kill, um, there's five wounds, it's tough as five, I don't know, I don't like it so far, uh, this thing, this, no, this thing, this thing is, um, really these two things are really expensive money wise 85 us dollars which is pretty ridiculous and this thing has um it, it only has weapon skill three and leadership five but the thing you can do is you can bind it to like a chaos lord like one of your characters has to be it's like master and then you get to use the weapon skill and the leadership of him instead uh, but otherwise, it's just, you know, pretty powerful monster. It just costs a lot of money. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Archon, Archon, um, he went down in points considerably. He's now, like, 500-something. I'll see that in a second. Wolfric, not a fan of him, to be honest. Valkaya, um, Village, Village got a new model. He looks pretty cool. Um... I'm not, I haven't really read what he does yet, so I don't have an opinion on him. Uh, Festus, the Nurgle, Sorcerer, Sigvald, and Throg. Throg is another one of these expensive models that they put out. He's $58 for, you know, nothing special in my opinion. I mean, he can take uh, trolls as core... And, um, he doesn't have stupid, so I'm pretty sure if you put him in a troll unit, uh, the trolls aren't stupid anymore, which is pretty nice. Skyla, the corn spawn. Galric, you know, awesome dragon. Kolik, he's cool. Nice armored Shagoth. Uh, and then the lores. The spells have changed, like, pretty much everything has changed. Um, now, um... The spells in the book have like a lore attribute, uh, like the ones in the rule book, uh, unlike before. Uh, basically, what's changed? Well, I'll give you like an overview of the lore. Zinch is like damage, direct damage spells, killing people. Uh, Infernal Gateway can now not suck up an entire unit. If you get strength 11 or 12, you get 3d6 hits instead of just completely destroying the unit, which is a disappointment. I've never done it, but 
It would have been cool if I had a Nurgle now is pretty much giving buffs to your own units, like um, plus D3 toughness is one of the spells to one of your units, or reducing the toughness of an enemy. Uh, you can give a 5 plus regeneration save to your guys. Um, there's some damage spells in there too, um, like toughness tests and stuff. And then Slanesh is the same, kind of direct da is the same as Zinch, kind of direct damage. And... Um, like stuff that affects leadership, like, you know, it's like for low leadership armies to use against them. Then we've got the artifacts and mutations, and I don't like what they've done with this, to be honest. Um, there's not many things anymore. Like, for example, there's only two magic banners, and that's it. And that's pretty pathetic, in my opinion. Only two magic banners, and they're not really good, to be honest. So... Uh, the art of the weapons we have, I mean, the Hellfire Sword's awesome. The, you know, we can get a Demon Sword. Um, another cool thing here is this Chalice Chaos. You can give it to one of your guys and you can drink it and then he rolls on this table. And then 1 through 5 is something that lasts for a turn. You get something that lasts for a turn, but if you roll a 6, something awesome happens. You turn into a Demon Prince. Um, so that's, that's pretty awesome. For 10 points, you can potentially turn into a Demon Prince. So that's pretty cool. Um, here we got you know the pictures of all the models and stuff. You know, skull crushers use the um, war shrine, the uh, hell striders of Slanesh, the fast cab guys. Um, here we got the mutilith vortex beast. Nasty looking model in my opinion. I don't like how it looks really. Forsaken here, are the new Forsaken models. Um, yeah, and, uh, what else we got? Chaos Warriors, nothing new there. There's the new Gore Beast Chariot, I will be picking up one, that's awesome. Another thing to note about that kit is it comes with a Chaos Lord in it, so that's pretty cool, you can put the Chaos Lord in the Chariot, which would be unstoppable in my opinion. There's the new plastic regular Chariot, some Demon Princes, here's the Slaughter Brute, the extremely expensive Slaughter Brute. Uh, and then we go into the points here. This has gone on pretty long, so, you know, Archons have gone down in points. That's the biggest thing there. Um, one of the things I want to show, um, Chaos Warriors are now 14 points a model. Uh, but you have to pay for their mark for each guy individually. Which I think means if you have bigger units, it ends up being more expensive than the last Codex. Marauder, or last art book. Marauders are now six points per model and seven for four, so that they went up in points. Um, what 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 do I want to talk about here? Oh yeah, um, so the Chimera and the Slaughter Brutes. So, okay, so the Chimera is in special units. It is two hundred and thirty points base. Let's go to the Slaughter Brute here. The Slaughter Brute is two hundred five points base, and it's rare. And now, let's go to the prices. The Slaughter Brute costs 85 US dollars, which is absolutely ridiculous. And the Chimera, which is more points, costs only $40 US dollars. It just, that makes no sense to me. I mean, like, you know, this one's a special unit, this one's a rare. It almost seems that the Chimera is better for some reason. I mean, I haven't played with it yet. I mean, the Slaughter Brute Strength 7. That's, that's that's amazing but I mean uh, you know I don't know why is the Chimera more points I haven't really figured it out yet um, I'll have to play test the Slaughter Brute I've play tested the Chimera and it did really well in the battle I played uh, killed the unit of White Lions of the High Elves with the Dragon over Shagoth as well uh, Skull Crushers went up in points from the little update in the White Dwarf and that's about it. Um, that's all about, That's all I have to say about it. There we go. There's the new book. Overall, I guess I'm pretty happy. Uh, besides the prices of the new stuff, it's just ridiculous how much money it costs. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's about it for me. Uh, hope you enjoyed looking at it. Sneak peek, maybe before buying it. And uh, yeah, so that's it for me. And see you guys later.